This is a podcast called Hold Up. I'm Josh Johnson. I'm your co-host, joined by my other co-hosts. Don't say Sloan! Brat, 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 brat. Ka-ka, And today... <laughs> That like was a lot of artillery. I get it. I get it. <laughs> that yeah, that was that was more shots let off than uh than like a military funeral. That was wow. <laughs> Cause I couldn't bring my bagpipes. Also, I just enjoy it. I just enjoy a tongue roll. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, just to let enough. these men know that I'm a good time. And today's argument <laughs> came from a review left on Apple Podcasts. So just just know you can you can be hitting us up on the Apple Podcast. You can be leaving comments on the videos on YouTube and on the posts on all of social. And today we're doing early birds versus night owls. Bro. Okay. So Dual say, let the people know. What is what is your stance? Where's what what do you where are you covered at me from today? You know your girl is one of these nocturnal birds, baby boy. Yeah. Out here, we done a night owl, you know, a bird out here in the night time. My mom called me a night owl. Mm-hmm. She told me when I was, cause I used to just be like, I always missed like a bunch of the Saturday morning cartoons. Mm-hmm. Cause like my brother would be up at like eight, like on it. And I'm like waking up at 11 and going like, are there any left? <laughs> did I miss them all? Eh, eh, eh. Yes, yes, I did. I never knew. Are there that. any left? Are there any left? Is there any animated series for your girl to watch? Yeah, because my mom told me when I was nine years old that I needed to have a job where I worked at night. Yeah, because I was never. I've never been a morning person. I've never been a daytime person. Like I was working on a project, and I tried to do it at like three p.m. and I just couldn't get it. I'd be like, okay, it's eleven. I'm gonna start doing this. Mm. I started that at 11 p.m. on Sunday, 12 p.m., like, you know, 12 a.m. on Sunday, ended at, like, 6 a.m., which is later than I wanted to do it, but, like, that's when my brain be, like, popping. Uh-huh. So, the times that my brain, I think, works the best is the nighttime. The nighttime is the right time. Baby! Anyway, um, so, yeah, I'm a night owl. I'm out here in these streets, like, I don't ever want to wake up like like my last day job. I had mm-hmm. to be at work at my desk sitting down at 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. to sell stucco in two languages. Yeah. Every day was hard. Yeah. Because if I'm if I see 7 a.m., I want to be going to bed. At se- like, I don't ever need to be anywhere at 8 o'clock in the morning. Ne- never. 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 I'm a smooth, like, let me wake up at 10. Woo! Wake, I get you 9.30. But waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning, I'm like, bro, yeah, I don't I don't like it. Because you strike me as, you know, the early bird get the worm type nigga. Like, it's... it's... Um, okay, so look, this mm. is my thing. Mm. I have been known throughout my life to have the, the night owl vibe, so I can't act like I always walk the path with a straight and narrow. Mm. But an early bird lifestyle is all I'm saying. Early bird lifestyle is better. What's an early because bird lifestyle? When you wake up at those early hours and you get you get your food in, you have your breakfast, you work out. That's the billionaire millionaire type lifestyle right there, where you just you just have so much done while other people are still waking up. It's hard to beat. Like I've lived night out, right? So I've had to work nights before. So when I worked at um, Trader Joe's, yeah. I did. I did both at certain points. So there was one point where I was a full on like nights. I only did nights and it would be, I would show up to work at 6 PM and I would get off my shift at 1 AM. Like mm-hmm. that's how like, you know, nights were talking. Okay. Yeah. I'm like- and, and so I've had that thing, but then I've also had the thing doing comedy this whole time, by the way. So then I've had that thing where I was like six to one. So obviously I couldn't do shows those nights. Yeah. But then you try to write jokes and stuff during the day. So at least you made something out of your day comedy-wise. And then I've had the thing of uh, of early mornings. Like, I remember I used to do 4 a.m.s. So I would do 4 a.m. to noon. And that was really hard. That was, like, that was some of the hardest. That's not even... 
I don't and, even because it's because I had a friend who had a shift like that, and you yeah, can't do it's, it's horrible. You can't do anything. You gotta go to bed at like seven thirty. Yeah. So then I was doing shows at night, and then I had to you know get up and go do the four a.m. right. And the thing that ends up happening with that is that. If I had a show the night before, I was ruined. But mm-hmm. on those rare nights where I didn't have a show, I wrote jokes that day, so I was letting myself off the hook. And I went to bed at, like, even just 10. Even if I went to bed at 10, which is still too late for a 4 a.m. show. Right. Even going to bed at 10, starting my day, getting up, going to work at 4 a.m., being done by noon. So I've made all the money I need to make by noon. And now the rest of the day is gravy. Because let's say I had an early shift that the next day off. Oof, I was living. It felt like I had two days off. Because if I don't have to worry about going to bed early again, mm. starting my day off early was probably one of the best. It, it I, I can't even compare. Like when you compare the two to productivity, there's like no comparison almost. Right, but if you're thinking about it, there's only so many hours. There's only 24 hours in a day, right? Yeah, yeah. No matter where you, because, like, I had a job where I was um, cleaning up medical records, like, basically, like, you know, basically editing and fix, fixing medical records for Gwinnett mm. County. Uh, I like how, for a second, it sounds like you were forging medical records, because you're like, you know, I used to clean up medical records, you know, somebody needed their insurance to act right, I would... Now, I can't say I haven't had a job where somebody used to come in with pay stubs. I'm not going to say that job. I'm not going to say that I didn't work on a car lot. And for people who like, like you say you work at like a, as a barber or like a hairdresser, you don't get a regular paycheck. So if you're trying to get an auto loan, you have, it's very hard to prove your income. Right. So we had a guy, so my boss had a guy he would call and that guy would create pay stubs. He's like, okay, so how much are you saying? How much you make an hour? How do, yeah, the watermark, whole nine. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he was very good at it. Cause he, yeah. And then I was like, you also had another job. And I was just like, wait, 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 wait. You doing this and crime? Yeah. I was like, he worked in, I think the other job he had, like he was like working for like Comcast or some shit. And I was like, honestly, Comcast is trash. So like, I really hope that that forgery business really picked up. But, um, Dude, my thing, yeah, when you are doing crime and you need a side hustle that's legitimate, you might as well not do that crime. Right, or is the crime supplementing? Like, I used to date this guy who sold weed, but he also worked at an, like, worked at, like, I an eyeglass. I was eyeglass. just about to say, yeah, if you, if you sell any sort of drugs and you still have to worry about being late anywhere, yeah, you need to pick another lifestyle. Like, you're clearly not good at selling drugs. Which is... You don't have the clientele. It's a thing you need to leave behind. Anyway, saying is, I had a job, so I worked, when I worked for Gwinnett County, I worked 3 to 11. Yeah. It was the worst shift. I hadn't started doing stand-up yet, but I didn't probably start doing stand-up until like four years later. But 3 to 11, you can't do anything. Mm Mm-hmm. Because, like, most of the restaurants, this is, like, 2005, 2006. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 2005. So most restaurants by 11 o'clock are closed. Like, sit-down restaurants are closed. But you go to work too early to go get lunch with anybody. You can't really get... So it's it was a sweet spot of not being able to do jack shit. Yeah. And then, you know, when any of you meet somebody, like, well, you can never go on a date. People are like, oh, let's go on a date on Tuesday. I get off work at 11 o'clock at night. Can't, you can't even go to the movies. So. I mean, if you work 3 to 11, you pretty much got to get right to it. Right. Like, we, we have to have sexy times. get time. right into it. We either got to have sexy times or we're going to be on the phone because it was. <laughs> and the, and I, the guy I was engaged to mm-hmm. so many moons ago, he was my coworker at this fucking job. So he got it. He got it. I mean, I didn't marry him, so he didn't get it, get it. No, but I'm saying he got it as in he got your situation. Right. I had a moment when you mentioned diamonds where I realized that for early birds, there's a type and a level of 
breakfast, maybe even brunch, that early birds are getting that night owls will never know because they're asleep. You know, our breakfast places are like close at two. No, 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 no. Night hours are awake by brunch. Some of them. Some of them. Now, I know a lot of people, like, if you work in, like, the food industry and you're getting off at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like, I was working at a job where I I was working as, like, a server at a pool hall. I've had a lot of jobs, Josh. Yeah, you said it, like, you said pool hall, like, you weren't sure if they played pool. Well, I, I was trying that to. Game was pool. Might have been racquetball. No, I was trying to because there was a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Mm-hmm. So it was also like video game. Like think of like a very low budget Dave and Buster's. Okay. Like we were getting paid. Like you know how servers are supposed to get paid a different minimum wage. Yeah. We were getting paid regular minimum wage. And I think it's because they were letting people smoke inside, and they and, that, and they weren't supposed to. And also, they weren't like. Like calculating our tips, they weren't taking the. They weren't really. They weren't really great at paying taxes. Uh, yeah. It was a shady ass job. I ended up getting like a. I ended up getting real sick because they were smoking inside without the proper ventilation. But you know, being a server, you're getting off three or four in the morning. A lot of times, you don't go to bed until six or seven. Yeah. So you're not going to bed till seven in the morning. So if you're going to bed at seven in the morning, then yeah, you're gonna miss brunch. But if you're a night owl, because, like, I worked day jobs the whole time, and then I was still a night owl, so I was still going to bed at, like, like, I just go to bed at 1. Like, even during lockdown, I was still going to bed at 2 in the morning. Yeah. Because, like, I tried to go to bed at 11. I tried. Mm-hmm. But when you go to bed at 11, you wake up at, like, 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck am I awake for? There's nothing going on. Because it's, like, if you go to bed at 11 and you wake up at 7 and you're working from home, you didn't have a place to go in the first place. Okay. But hear me out here. This, All right. This is, this is where I feel like we're going we're gonna to finally really clash. So, the thing with waking up at those times is not about stuff going on. It's about you going on. It's about you getting up, getting the stuff checked off your list that's just all you. You ever wonder who that person is where you start your day? Whether you start your day at 9, 10, whenever, and there's already an email in your inbox, that's that's an early bird. That's somebody who's like, let me go ahead and set the world in motion. All right? Early birds have some options that I just personally don't feel like I had when I was like a full-on night owl. Like what? Like, one, they, they've done a real study about this. You have more... Uh, willpower and better decision making in the earlier part of the day after you've already been up for quite a while it starts to diminish where you're like oh i guess i could do that but i don't know i probably just won't you know what i mean that's a late in the day decision and what happens with a lot of night owls is that some night owls are very responsible with their sleep and stuff like that but most aren't most are like i'm gonna wake up at a normal hour if i'm gonna stay up all night because that's why i get stuff done so I get that. I've been that person. But I'm telling you with early birds, there's just a different way that they move that's just a bit more productive to a day. You know? I kind of feel like this is propaganda. Only because only because it's like one thing that people love to do is they feel like, oh, the only reason I'm not a millionaire is because because like that's why people have whole classes on like people get rich telling you how to get rich. Yeah, of course. So I think this early bird uh propaganda came from the fact that we are we started as I mean as most of the world did as an agricultural society. That's what school was based off of. That was all of that cuz you needed your children to help you harvest. But now we got big ass cities. These kids need to be at school one. Two because there's so many, there's only so many hours in a day, right? Because I've gotten up at 7 a.m. and thought I was going to be productive, and guess what? I just laid there and didn't do shit till 10 a.m. anyway. But it's not about forcing yourself. That's the thing. It's not, it's not about putting yourself through hell. I think that's what a lot of the scam artists are teaching. They're being like, 
you just gotta grind, and as you grind, you'll feel yourself grinding, and then when you're all ground up, you're gonna turn into money, and there's ah. gonna be pennies everywhere, and everybody gonna be looking at the money dropping up out of your pockets because it's overflowing because you've been grinding too long. <laughs> like that thing is insane. Those yes. people suck. Those people suck. I'm saying I'm only talking about people who are legitimately this way. I know people who legitimately their biological prop wakes them up at about seven. And then they're up, up. They can't, they can't go back to sleep. And they get very tired around 11. They get very tired around 10. Like there's just They would, because they've been up like since that. 7 a.m. Yeah, so I'm get, talking about people yeah. who are naturally like that. I'm not, right. I'm not telling people to do this thing. I wish I was. I'd be making more money in my life if I stopped doing comedy. I was like, why can't you just grind, all right? Why can't you just wake but up, the thing thank is, God it's Monday, have an extra Monday, make every day Monday, <laughs> all right? Just put seven Mondays in your calendar until you can work your ass off hard enough to where you love Monday so much you marry Monday, yeah. all right? And so then you just banging Monday, you have a bunch of Monday babies, okay? <laughs> That's all you do. You wake up, it's Monday, all right? You know, people who don't like Monday, guess what they are? Mundane. Okay, <laughs> you know, like when they, you know, like when they try to drop knowledge on you, and it's like a thing that rhymes or a thing that's like wordplay. Like, I can just like, see the person sitting in the meet, like just this person <laughs> sitting there, just taking so many notes. Yeah, taking so many notes, just like okay, M- Mary Monday, Mary Monday, Monday. Yeah. Yeah, mundane yeah. Monday, and then my student Monday. loans will have to leave me alone, girl, like, girl. Nah. Nah. Those people should be shot on by, on, by firing squad. Those people should be shot with the broken dreams and promises they have sold people. Not, but just like load them into a bullet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let people write it on a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. They take that paper, they burn it. They take those ashes and put them in a bullet and then shoot these motherfuckers. Because these are the worst humans. Because yeah. they are literally feeding off of people's dreams. Can I ask you though, why you hate hustling? All right. <laughs> why do you hate? Why do you hate the hustle? All right. Why do you hate? I you can't hate the hustle. I can't hate the hustle. I have seven fucking jobs. I yeah. know what the hustle is. You and... gotta hustle till you can't breathe. And when you start trying to breathe, you gotta be like, stop trying to breathe. But you have to breathe to live, Josh. Stop. Have... No, no, no. That's what the weak tell you. <laughs> they tell you you need air. They tell you you need water. They tell you you need shelter. They tell you you need sustenance. That's just a quitter's mentality. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. So you out here, you know what you got to call every day Monday? Because if you think of all the days individually, that's a week. And you not weak, okay? You not weak. <laughs> you ain't dealing with <laughs> You not weak. You're the one. So you get one day. So one you day. Get Monday. Monday. Right? Huh? Where is our book, Josh? I know, right? That it, we, it would be hilarious if we stopped doing comedy. And it's just us. It's just us back to back all the shirts. On the, on, on the book, it's just us back to back, just like switching sides every now and again. And it's just hustle harder, all right? Grind time, okay? Shoot. What, that, that, that's why y'all hate waking up early, because y'all hate waking up. Y'all hate the sun, all right? Y'all hate the shining light mm-hmm. that lights the day mm-hmm. that you need to grind under, okay? Mm-hmm. You want to hit snooze because you a snoozer, because you a loser. All right? mm, 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 mm. Just anything that rhymes will always it's hit. Awful. It's and then awful. they get that crescendo music under it. They get that like. <laughs> I want to fight those dudes. I want to fight those dudes because they're worse than the people that sell like Tahitian Noni or all those other bullshit things. Like, remember every couple of years a new pyramid scheme would come out? Like, that bitch who was selling leggings? Like, every couple of years, yeah, these yeah, pyramid yeah, schemes yeah, yeah. come out. Or the I girl that was selling leggings. Right, or the or the uh, the girl that was trying to sell the machine with the blood, the little one drop of blood. She's like, you don't give a oh, new Eliz- Elizabeth Halls. Elizabeth Halls is out here. <laughs> First of all, she stare too hard. All right? Like, she sta- she she in the picture just- <laughs> see and I never but like just watching stuff like that like I because everyone's like you have to watch it it's amazing you have to watch it it's amazing I was like no because it's going to make me mad because I know we no one who's not a white person mm-hmm. could have scammed these people like this you see what I'm saying
I was talking to this man on Bumble. Cute Middle Eastern dude. A little older. Very much a zaddy situation. He was talking to me on the phone one night, but I'm like, why are you talking so quiet? <laughs> and he's like, well... He's like, well, listen. I'll, he's like, I want you to... He's like, look up something. And I was like, what? He was like, just full disclosure. Hold on. Like, okay. Full disclosure. He said, okay. full disclosure. I'm going to send you... So I'm going to text you... Um, because he called me, and the name that came up was a woman's name. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people are on family plans, right? But also, you know who I'm on a family plan with? Your wife! So I was like, okay, who is this woman's name, first of all? Just because I had nothing better to do. Could I have stopped talking to him? Yes. But why? I was out here just for general investigation. I was like, who is this woman's name you called me from? Your mother? And he was like, yes. I was like, okay. He was like, so... He's like, yeah, just full disclosure. It's not the second time we talk. He's like, full disclosure. He's like, I'm going to text you this website. I open up the link to Le Website, and it is an article from a New Jersey newspaper about three people who got arrested for a Ponzi scheme. True millions of dollars Ponzi scheme. And he's like, the reason, he's like, yeah. And I was like, so he's like, so I'm talking all quiet because I'm on, I'm not supposed to have a cell phone because I'm in a halfway house. And I was like, what? That's so, this is the thing. Okay. One of the things that I love on top of dudes, because I actually do, as much as they annoy me, I do love those grind time dudes just because the whole thing is very fun. Like if you, if you, They're taking advantage of people. They're the worst. No, but if you're watching it and you're not tricked by it, the whole speech becomes very funny. The speech the is speech funny, is, but you know what I mean? yeah, it's very funny if you're a person who's successful. But they're like taking it. They're snake they, oh, they are the devil. They are yes. the devil. You know what I mean? But uh, I will say, second to them are guys like this that crack me up because it'll be like we will be trying to date someone. The person will ask them a very normal question. Right, and this guy that you're talking about was more upfront with you than usual. Most guys, because, period. Because then, <laughs> normally, if you ask a guy like, "Hey, why are you being so quiet?" It's like you can't turn your volume up. You can't right. just turn your volume up on your see. You maybe raise my voice. You can't just turn your volume up on your right. phone on your right. side. You know what I mean? And I, I don't know why, but I found that very funny. There's nothing funnier them. to me than like, than like, hey, why do we always have to meet up in my place? Why you got to ask so many questions? I'm very suspicious. It's like, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm 39. I don't trust any of these fuckers. And I'm very <laughs> suspicious. I ask a lot of questions. Uh, so when I'm out here being a night owl in these streets, uh, uh-huh. and I'm trying to meet me some of these menses, mm-hmm. they are very, one, they're intimidated by me as a human being. Which, I'm so glad I saw this thing on Instagram one time and this woman said, I'm not intimidating, you're intimidated. Because if I think about the number of times, like, just because I'm a black person that I've been followed through a store, right? It wasn't because I was a thief. It was because you perceived, you thought that I was a thief because I'm black. That had Mm -hmm. nothing to do with me. I'm not a fucking thief. But you followed me through this store because of your thoughts and feelings about how I look. People always talk about the angry black woman. But no one's asking why we're mad. Mm-hmm. Why does why are these black ladies upset? What mm-hmm. happened? No one's asking that. You just want to fucking villainize me. So because I feel like if someone asked, the answer would just be a history book falling out of the sky. Yeah, yes. I mean, like, like boom, and like with just a cloud of smoke, like every just all here, here, yeah, the history yeah. of women, the history of black, the history of black. So is the history of people of African descent. And then the history of a human being with two X chromosomes and titties. Combine those to get these, fold them together like playing cards. So I'm fucking mad, bro. But in reference to the topic at hand, because you know we had a few tangents today. Um, mm-hmm. What I do want to say is, I think that we need both sets of humans. We need our early birds. We need our night owls, right? Yeah, yeah. Our early birds has given us function. Mm-hmm. But our night owls are giving us design and fun. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like function and flavor. Yeah. Yeah, function and flavor. You need both humans, but I think we kind of have to stop 
I, it's all because of that fucking work ethic that Americans are like instilled with. Like that old school, just Puritan work ethic. Where I mean, it's just like, you, kill yourself. Kill yourself. Yeah, why you what? hate work? Why you hate grinding? Do say. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that you, that you would hate. You, do you know, do you know what the work and work <sighs> ethic, do you know what the, F, you know what the thick in ethic is for? Huh? It's for getting that, that hard, that thick, that immovable force, you just you just churning it up like just life butter, and you just stirring it around, trying to get it as thick as possible, so nothing could ever break you because you thick, you thick, right? <laughs> so then you take that thickness, and then life tries to be like, let me loosen you up. That's not gonna happen, life. All right, I'm telling you right now. I wake up, I wake up at 4 a.m. I work until 12 a.m. I take one break to bite a piece of a burger and then I go back to work. I don't even finish that burger because nobody got time to eat. All right. Remember that one time? Don't you remember that one time Beyonce said she was so busy she forgot she didn't eat? You got to be like that. You got to forget. You just got to waste away. Okay. Until everything's done. And then when everything's done, when your inbox is fully empty, you can look around and be like, yeah. But I mean, nobody will be there because you'll be dead. You'll be talking to like the ether. But you will have done so much stuff. All that stuff you did, nobody will be able to take that stuff away from you. That I stuff this, lasts forever. I think this can be called toxic motivation. We'll do toxic motivation. Every week, we'll do toxic motivation. I'll sit people down. I'll let them know why their life is messed up. All right? Why their relationships suck. Why they suck. Okay, because all you need, if you get a little bit, this is the thing, this this is a problem with this generation of people, all right, is that what what's now being called toxic motivation used to just be called tough love. Okay? All right? Y'all remember tough love? Y'all remember when somebody would sit you down and be like, hey, bro, you suck. And then you just have to be like, damn, I suck. And now, nowadays, when you sit somebody down and be like, hey, I know you're working two jobs and you're underpaid so you can pay off student loans that you worked real hard to because you try to provide an opportunity for yourself. And now the system that you bought into is actually only undercutting you and pressing you down more and oppressing you horribly. But also, you suck. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We need more people to be doing that. That's what we need in life. All right. Let me tell you something right now. You really want to be somebody you want to get somewhere? Buy my book right now. All right. It's on Amazon, nineteen ninety nine. Okay. The year, the year that I was born, because the year that I was born. All right. Because I was born. I, they said that I was premature. All right. Okay. I wasn't premature. I was just excited to get grinding. You okay? were early. I was just early to grind. I wanted to be born. I was like, Mom, I got this from here, okay? <laughs> Go ahead and let me slip out too early by a doctor's standards, okay? <laughs> Go ahead and go ahead and push me out. Put me in the incubator. They said I'd be the incubator for a month. I was in the incubator for a week because I was too excited to get grinding, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you about something about early birds. We get it in, all right? We wake up. We wake up. We're upset that we fell asleep. Every day I wake up, I punch myself in the face. Okay, okay. Because I'm like, why'd you fall asleep? Why'd you fall asleep? So for for all you night owls out there, okay? Mm -hmm. I know that you hear. Mm -hmm. I know that you hear the propaganda, all right? The stigma against being out here, grinding in the nighttime. Right? Let them know. Let them know. Now, while those people are out there using up all that good sunlight, they are wasting this good moonlight. You understand? They out there sleeping. They've been grinding all day. Right? Like, okay, you got up at 7 a.m. But what if, what if it's 6 a.m. and I haven't gone to bed yet? You understand? Because I'm still working. Because they talk about, they talk about the early bird Mm -hmm. and the night owl. But nobody told you you could be both. You could be mm-hmm. both. Why are you going to sleep? What is wrong? Do you know I've not been to sleep since the Clinton administration? 
Come on. That's why. That's why. I own seven yachts. And two of them I can park in another one. Come on now. You got to get out here. It's 8 a.m. somewhere. Right. All right. Wake your ass up. Okay. 1 a.m. everywhere. All right. Think about it. Think about it. (laughs) My favorite is that thing that they'll do when someone else, so like, let's say two of them hype each other up. One yeah. of them, will, they have about three things that they'll do. And you can like, if you go go to any of their videos on YouTube right now, yeah. you'll be able to hear what I'm saying. They'll either, you'll be talking. So I'm your hype. I'm your hype. Right, 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 right. And so you'll say something and then I'll act like I stubbed my toe. So you'll say something and I'll be like, <laughs> It's like church. Ooh. Yeah, it's exactly like church. Because then, then if you say something else, and I really like, like, if I'm almost jealous, I didn't think of that toxically positive thing, and you yeah. say it, I'm like, mmm. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. everywhere. Mm. Everywhere. Okay? Mm. Why did you stop grinding? Mm. Nose, grindstone. You shouldn't even have one. You should be Michael Jackson out here. You ground so hard. Your nose is so close to the groin stone. <laughs> but you out here looking like a mummy. You understand? You understand? There should be nothing here. I should, it should be, be smooth in the middle of your face. Okay? Smooth. Like a cartoon. You understand? I need you to look like an emoji. You ever seen a, sm- you ever seen a nose on an emoji? No. Because they grind so hard because they in your phone 24-7. 365. Ooh. I said, I can't Do not play with me, bro. Don't play with me. We are out here working. What are you doing? You're listening to a podcast right now? A podcast right now? Is this part of your grinding? Yes, because this is a motivational podcast. We're out here giving you the tools, all right? Right now. Now Mm -hmm. now listen, now listen. Get it, get it. Now listen, now Josh, mm, Josh didn't want to share this key knowledge with you, right? Because Josh, Josh thought you wasn't ready. But I knew you was ready because Josh Josh wanted you to be in an incubator a little longer. (laughs) Wanted you to sit underneath him like the little chickadees that you are. Wanted you to sit in his nest just a little bit more. <laughs> to suckle on the teeth of knowledge from him just a little bit more. But I believe in you. You understand? I believe in you. So we got a retreat coming up in Dubai. Treat somewhere that only they can afford. There's yeah. There's always like some guy retreat. Bali. On. They're always going to fucking Bali. Yeah, because you Nigga, know Bali. Go to Detroit. Go to you know Bali, Bali doesn't know. extradite. Right. Bali doesn't extradite. <laughs> the other thing that I'll throw out there. Which yeah. I feel like in in this podcast of all the ones that we've done, I've made least points for my yeah. for my thing. Uh, <laughs> the, the you did do like about, a ten minute act out, which was much needed. Yeah, <laughs> the, the other thing about early birds that I will say that I think is a benefit to them uh, is that when they're done with work, like when they put in their eight or so odd hours, there's yeah. still a whole day left to have. So even even with a night owl, I get that night owls can be very productive, especially for what we do. You almost mm-hmm. need to be a night owl because if you have multiple spots, it's like you can't show up to the last spot ready to just drag Fall yourself out. home. But yeah. you could be a night owl. Who, like, I'm a night owl who had day jobs. Night owl, yeah. I think, just means that someone who's just up later at night than someone who works in the day should probably be. I don't yeah, think it yeah. has to Yeah, be. I think that's fair. Right, because it's like a night, I, I mean, I like the night owl lifestyle because mm-hmm. I'm somebody who I think maybe you had brought it up to me or Derek brought it up to me where it was just like, uh, they were laughing at something that I said where it's like somebody had asked me like, hey, you going home? And I was like, no, I'm the only person that lives in my house. Mm-hmm. So what do you mean? I said, there's no one to go home to. Mm-hmm. So it's like a lot of times I'll be out because when I get home, ain't nobody here but my furniture and my clothes. So, yeah. like, I think that I would probably, like, be able to, you know, maybe retire a little bit from my night owl lifestyle. Okay. If there were some warm arms to come home to. 
mm-hmm. as opposed to a pillow top mattress. I see. So like love could have brought me home last night, mm-hmm. but it didn't because love don't live here. You know what I mean? Yeah. You catch all those yeah. song references though? Dang. I, I, I did. I appreciate them. That's why I didn't want to interrupt because I, I was like, you. I who knows when these are going to be done. You know, you could have just kept going. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Don't only do enough to where we don't have to pay for it. Yeah. I think I just have to prefer the night owl lifestyle because I feel like that there are things that happen at night. Mm-hmm. There's adventures you can get into at night that you cannot get into during the day. Yeah. It's not necessarily trouble, but adventures... Like, yeah, like, wow, I'm at a, am I at a party at a custom auto body shop? Why am I in here? You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, are we in Koreatown drinking illegally after hours and we can't talk loudly because the cops will show up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of adventures you can have, but what we're going to do right now is we are going to ask <laughs> the listeners, like friends, yeah. tell us. And this way, I don't think we were trying to, like, convince each other of the others, I think we were just presenting who we are as individuals. I'm very much a night time. I'm not going to say I'm a lady of the night because we all know what that means. But <laughs> yeah. But I will say that I am a human being that has enjoyed when the moon and the stars are out mm-hmm. more. Because like I'm, a, it's like I'm a beach person. I'm a beach lady, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a summertime lady. But, ooh, should we do summer versus winter? Yeah, we can do summer versus winter. Yeah, we should do that because I know what you're going to pick and you're going to lose. And I know you're going to pick winter because I've never seen you in a short sleeve shirt. You're going to pick winter. You're always in a jacket. I know you'll be hot in them them long sleeve shirts in July. I know you'll be hot. Are you starting the episode now? We were doing so well. (laughs) No, I'm not starting the episode now. I'm just saying that, like, I feel like that because I want the listeners to tell us how you live your life. Are you somebody Mm -hmm. that wants to be cozy and rosy in your bed at 11 o'clock at night like a sucker? Or, or look, are you like me? And I'm full disclosure, I'm not fully an early bird yet, but I've been working towards that lifestyle because I like grinding. I like to see the sun. I want (laughs) to wake up before the sun. I want to wake up and go for a run. And then when I see the sun, I'm like, you late. Okay. What a psycho way All thing right. Of- that's that's what I need in my life. All right. I need the sun to be like, damn, I'm slipping. Josh I is don't picking like it up right now. The early bird lifestyle okay? is doing to you, Josh. No, the early no, bird no. lifestyle is making you somebody that's going to pu- self publish a book. Yeah. Yeah. It will be self published because that's how you really grind when it comes to putting out books. All right. You don't give it to some editor. Okay. <laughs> to read. <laughs> To give you notes, you give yourself the notes. You tell yourself, hey, was that a good comma? Yeah, that was a good comma. And I'm going to put a city call in too, just so that they know. And then you put it out yourself. And then the people try to tell you there's grammatical errors in the book. Ain't no grammatical error. You're just not reading hard enough. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're going to kick it to you, the listener. I'm and- so worried about you. I'm so worried. You fell into this dude so easy. I'm so concerned. You know exactly who this person is. You know what? This is your villain origin story. That's, <laughs> this is exactly... You know too much. You know too much. Uh, the student has become the teacher. Nah, you might have to get an intervention, an exorcism, something. We got to come get you, nigga. This is wild. You are, you are, you are, t- you have been undercover too long, bro. <laughs> You've been undercover too long. You are not you Noriega. Right. Look, look, look. You're right. I have been undercover, and now it's time to lift the covers off and show my true grind time self, okay? <laughs> if I had I was undercover. Do- I was under the veil, okay? <laughs> I was under the iron veil of mediocrity, all right? Of regal, re, 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 re. <laughs> Regularity, <laughs> just just super averagicity is where I was at. Okay, and now I'm on a grind. Now Ooh. I'm out here building something up. I'm trying to put something together, and anybody doesn't like to get out of my way. All right. 
I'm gonna fight so, you when I see you. So you I need to you, knock this out of you. I need to knock this out of you. If all of you listening have any thoughts on early bird versus now, please tell us. You know, let us know what you think. Let us know what you thought of the episode. Please leave a comment, share, and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Tell a friend that you know the the, the good news about grinding. Uh, <laughs> And if you're looking to catch up with us on the socials, you can find me at Josh Johnson Comedy on Instagram, at Josh Johnson Comedy on TikTok and YouTube, and uh, at Josh Johnson on Twitter. And if you're looking for Dulce, it's Dulce Sloan, D U L C E S L O A N, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. Uh, that's all the things. And, mm-hmm. um, just take a moment and just pray for Josh. That's what really what we're asking for right now. Um, Josh, yeah. I got. Yeah. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take all the prayers. Thank you because I'll need those prayers when I'm out grinding. Okay. Close, 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 close the show, Josh. Close. Uh, okay. So yeah, y'all just have a great rest of the day into the weekend. We appreciate you so much. And just like the person who wrote in for us to talk about early birds versus night owls, if you have a suggestion, you can also let us know. Read them. We appreciate them. Even when they hurt our feelings. You ain't got to grind. Go to bed. <laughs>